Hi everyone, it's meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Thanks for jumping on to clicktohouston.com. We still have a few showers out there. These are winding down, thankfully. Otherwise, it has been a dry and a warm Easter Sunday. But we've got more activity off to the west. We're going to keep a watch on. A couple of disturbances there moving in from northern Mexico may bring more storm activity for us, especially tomorrow afternoon and again on Tuesday. But right now, there's a pretty good lid on the atmosphere across much of central Texas. So that'll have to get through here first before we see any storm activity. Activity. But I'll show you what it looks like in the computer models here in a second. First, though, as we go through the rest of the evening, we'll see the temperature slowly fall back to the upper 60s. Keep a lot of cloud cover throughout the night as well. Uh, watch what happens and you can see the influence of these disturbances as they get closer to us. Starting off quiet tomorrow morning on Monday, just a little bit of moisture, maybe a quick drizzle down by the coast. But watch some of these storms get really aggressive as they get closer to us. Now, the computers are indicating that we're going to be able to sort of unlock the atmosphere, meaning that the lid that's on it now won't be there. If it is, this is going to be a lot less than what's out there. And I'm curious to show you later on this evening tomorrow as well. We'll have new updates with that. But let's run with what we've got for now. A chance to see some strong storms by Monday afternoon. Overnight, things quiet down. Then Tuesday, there's that disturbance again, flaring things up by early Tuesday morning and in through Tuesday afternoon as it sits and just sort of remains somewhat stationary over much of Southeast Texas. Now, obviously, that would be a concern for some flooding at that point, uh, but we'll have to continue to watch how this develops over the next couple of hours and next couple of days here indication as well that if this is the scenario, we could be looking at some uh, pockets of uh, possibly three, four, five inches of rain. I still think this is way overdone, uh, but the idea is, is that we are going to see a chance for some strong thunderstorms on Monday and again on Tuesday afternoon. They'll be ending tonight. Later on in the week, we'll warm things up, but we're going to dry it out as well before you see another storm system move on through on Saturday. So 82 for the next two days with the storms in the afternoon. Rockets playing game two at the Toyota Center Wednesday night. Should be no problems there. Mid 80s Thursday, Friday, and then once the front moves on through, look at this clearing out overnight lows in the 50s and afternoon highs in the 70s, and that may be the last time that we see those 70s as we get later on into April. That's your forecast right here at clicktohouston.com. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I'll be jumping on there a little later on this evening and we'll give you an update on what you can expect for your work week weather and you can get that and your weather needs anytime you need it right here at clickthehouston.com.